Hello, Media Land. Yeah, what's up, world? What's up, world? We're back. We're back, man. It's been a minute. Uh, we thought today was a good day to just kind of show you some of the stuff we got going on. We got two big buyouts. One buying, one selling. Mm. We'll get to the buying part first. We've never done a sell, a sell out. A sell out, yeah. A sell out. I'm not, not a sell out, right? but you know, no diddy. Talk be good and everything I'm going to grow be crazy. Got ready for spring summer, cashed out on some bake. You guys know how we usually do it. Got a whole gang of teas. Uh, even did like some spring colorways, some first camos, ABC camos, some like Burberry like plaid printed, multi colors, LA exclusives. We got our Stony store and our Townie store because why? We have three locations now, which is kind of part of the reason why we're not really on front of the camera no more. It's one of those situations where. We want to make sure we're situated correctly with these three stores before we take our time and attention away from that. And look, these just came in too. Oh, yeah. New bags, yeah. new store bags. Well, these are just like our everyday plastic bags, and then we have the big cardboard bags that are getting made right now overseas. So, but new, new logo. logo. New logo. We brand rebranded with the new P, as you can see. I got it on me. Big P. Boy got it on him now. If anybody big else P. wants to get the big P on them, they can. Whoa. No diddy, Yo, no, no diddy. diddy. Golly, no bro. Diddy. Yeah, what else? Uh, new tees. You want to take them outside? Yeah. We can show them. Or do you? I, well, I want to tell them first what we've been doing, guys. Is I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but we have realized we need to kind of switch from some brands that we have to carrying our own stuff. It's so really important. It's very important right now in this economy. You got to make some audibles. You got to figure out some ways to hustle, make some money. Um, and for us, it's been our merch, which we're, I don't even call it merch anymore. It's a clothing, it's a clothing brand. brand. It's a brand. We're a brand. Yeah. The, cell, the brand does really well. Well, this is our third restock on these gotcha tees. Yeah, you can see. If you look closely, you can see the glitter. Yours is kind of wash. You wash your glitter. Yeah, I've washed them multiple times. If you look on like a fresh one, man, you can see the glitter shining on the letters. Yep. Everything we do, we try to do to our best ability. We try to add little extra things on each thing. Even like the hats, we'll show y'all when we get out there. High quality stuff. High quality tees. We have some cool 10 ounce tees coming out that are gonna be heavier than our 6.5, almost double the weight. Um, and it's actually gonna be cheaper than our regular tees because you know it costs more to do the glitter and the screen right. print and things of that matter, front and back. But uh, let's go show them real yeah, quick. I'll I think Larry's out there. What's up, y'all? Been a long time. I was trying to explain it that we've just been sit setting up all the stores and getting everything situated with the brand, the stores, etc. before we just take our attention away from that yeah. and go back to YouTube. So normally when we drop tees, product is normally like one thing at a time, a couple, a handful of tees. Every maybe 90 a small days, collection, like every, every four days. months. Now you look around the store and we've got private selection, everything, everywhere. So let's start with these. These are the newest tees that we just dropped. Multiple colorways and all tees. This one I'm holding, honestly, one of my favorites yeah. that we've ever we've dropped. We've stocked it three times now. Got the glitter on it. See it hidden in the light. This one's got the Alpine Star flip. We made it to look like PS with the chrome. More Hell Star inspired, as you can see. A lot of a lot of brands and people right now have. Uh, Followed the trend as you can see that hell starts kind of on bold out. graphics, heavy print, and some people talk trash about it. But at the end of the day, you got to go where the money is, follow along with it, and keep it moving. If Show that's the what the people on this one want, too. then you got to give the people what they it's want. It's the bulletproof so. one, 50 cent. You got the glitter on the front, bulletproof or bullet holes, puff bullet holes, by the way. They're yeah, puff the print. Back. Boom, live to die. Hey guys, what is that? This is. This is the world's smallest walkie-talkie. <laughs> so these kids just came in and they trade. They're like, you know, the kids like to trade up. Trade up. They came in and I traded them uh, a, a sneaker shield for the world's smallest walkie-talkie. <laughs> Say something. They work. They work. Fire. You get really good too. No cap. No cap. <laughs> uh, world T. This is me, Ian, and Larry. And then if you look on the back, this is every city we've ever done a YouTube episode on. Every city. I believe the only city that won't be on here is when I go to Seattle in May. Because, guys, I will be at Sneaker Expo Seattle with my boy Chris. And I'm bringing Manny, the cameraman, with me. And we're going to do a whole episode and hang out with all the cosplayers. Because that show was amazing <laughs> last time. Now, it's heating up outside. We brought out some new shorts. We've got some more coming. But these are the three that we've just dropped. You've got all of our new P hits in three different colorways on this short. Super dope. And then, shirt that we dropped. so this is a lower end, so these are only 45 bucks. But then we have a higher end coming in that's gonna be 60, but I'm gonna be doing a flex style patch on it. 
zipper on the back. It's gonna have the aglets on the string. It's gonna be way more premium, double layered. So it's gonna be satin on the inside, mesh on the outside. That's just mesh. Then we're also doing. Then we're doing the cotton sweat shorts. Yep. But this one's just a real simple one. Simple mesh, one ply. Little you can, screen print hit. We're gonna call this the Scotty's neck short. Show me that. <laughs> yeah, no, I showed, I showed, I showed, I showed You know what I'm saying? This, it's it's basically the same, same exact quality as Eric Emanuel. So if yeah. you like that lightweight, even though we call it our low end, some people just like the lightweight Eric Manuel style shorts. Yeah, so if you That's live in a hotter is. place. If you live in a hotter place, yeah. You in Arizona, you don't want no thick shorts. We got a lot of socks. We got them wrapped up. Like get tins, the like shit stacks. Look like stacks of money, Looks like bro. stacks of money. Hard. And on the back's got a little QR code that you can uh, hit to take you to all our socials. Then you got private on the br uh, bridge, but look at this part. When you put it on, it says foot on neck. Oh. Foot on the neck. You know what I'm saying? These are all on the website as well. With the rebrand, we have the new P hats. So you also have this one that has the glow in the dark on the outside. So all the other parts of it glow. I think we just restocked. I put a couple more on those on the website, but they sell out so fast. But if you guys see this and there you go check, there might be some on there. All the different colors that we have. And I think we're making script ones and some others as well. But we did it right this time, guys. We got the iridescent sticker on the top, iridescent sticker on the bottom. We went ahead and branded the tag on the, what like call the, this? the strap, the snap, the snap. Yeah. There you go. Snap of the strap. Uh, also branded on the inside, and then you got hits on the front, back, and side to side. Ooh, side to side. Front, back, side, side to side. side. You know what I'm saying? And then lastly, oh, is it yeah. happening until later? But I'll let Ian explain. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Follow me. So Scott came over to an undisclosed location. He's like, bro, you gotta, you gotta clean this place up because there's just so much stuff everywhere, and. This is all unsealed Pokemon packs from like four years ago. Just so you can see how long it is. Yeah, just so you can see. This is sealed. I don't even know how many packs it is, but I think they sell for like around $3 a pack. And there's probably like hundreds. Yeah. And so maybe thousands it, was, of it was only right that we call the Pokemon Goat, my friend Corey yes. Good. And for those of y'all who might know who he is, his name's Goodzilla on whatnot. He is. The guy to go to when it comes to buy, sell, and trading Pokemon. And I was telling Ian and Larry, like, you know how we go to the sneaker cons and majority of the people at the tables and everyone in the building typically knows who we are from YouTube or buyouts or et cetera. I went with him to Collecticon and we were walking around uh, Collecticon and everybody knew Corey. Yeah, he's they like a celebrity, Pokemon celebrity. They're pulling him in to do like estimations on buys because people are doing like live buys and trades and they're asking his opinion on what, yeah. if this price is fair or whatever. And then he also had like 50,000 on him. He was cashing out like crazy. Like, you know, my Just mind. so you guys know, I would say back in like fifth grade, I was heavy into Pokemon. <laughs> were you fifth Pokemon grade? Ever? Yeah, I'm the only one. You were into Pokemon. They did it at the mall, and we walk by and make fun of all of them. Oh, he was just a bad kid. <laughs> I had, he was I had a, bad a little kid. brother, so I yeah. was in by default because but, my mom supported it. So she was buying packs. Uh, packs. I remember it was like '99 when yeah. this happened, and she was heavy grade. into Beanie Babies. At the which time. is a so similar she was thing. Moving babies around finding too. Beanie Babies, which is crazy that those packs that you guys were opening and I was opening back then, each individual pack is like five hundred to a thousand dollars now. Yeah, all that originals, unopened original packs. This is all new like new pokemon because yeah. this was all from uh during covid yeah. Shiny? i was just going crazy because like everything was reselling online and i was just going crazy on pokemon packs and then he just forgot all about and then it. i forgot all about it. but look i also sent like hella stuff into psa if you guys don't know what psa is it's how you get your cards graded so these are all stuff from like 2001 and these are all different cards you can see the grade on it near mint mint Eight, so this is a PSA eight, which for cards from 2001 is pretty difficult because they've been sitting for, how many years is that? 23 20 years, years so yeah, 24 now? 24 years. 23 so you years. You can have an eight, I feel like it's good, It's right? really good. Through transit of it's really moving good. around while you're a kid. But I now. also have like, if you just open stuff like this, so my dad would go to Japan for business and I would tell him like, that's where the Pokemon's from. You gotta go get me packs. That's where the Pokemon's so like, from. he would bring me back and I'd have, there's so many Japanese Pokemon and this is all hollows. Like, so if you see now, whenever they do, they rip those packs for like 500 bucks to a thousand dollars a pack. Some of the times they don't even have hollows in them because you're chasing yeah, the yeah, hollow. Of course. These but are seen, boxes full of just the hollow. Yeah. I've seen Corey go live and somebody hit like, I a, have like a 10 or $20,000 well. card. Yeah. Look at this. Bought from a pack. Oh, I'll find some, let me find some more. We'll show more whenever Corey gets here, but like. This is gonna be a lot of homework. We this is like, look, this is all base. This is fossil. So these are hollows from fossil. 
like blast that used to be the shit yeah, back in the yeah, day the that, look these that are all hollows hard. alakazam jancy i remember this one is like so common but anyway there's so much stuff here uh we'll see what Corey says when he gets here but uh until I'm, then we will check back yeah, in with we'll you guys he should be here in probably like another hour hour and a half so and then we'll go Corey's here we're ready for him for the pokemon bio. Where's the theme song? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. What's going on, guys? I heard you got some Pokemon. We do. We have some stuff. So this is all going to be sealed okay. wax. And then here we have slabs and then just raw cards. Okay, bad. So you, want, you said some of these are from Japan, though? Or some of them are Japanese. The, and so you have English, Japanese, raw, vintage? Yes, both. Okay. And it, it's... I think it's all vintage, right? This is considered all vintage. It's like 2001. Yeah, for the most any, part. yeah, yeah. And anything in that era is going to be considered vintage. Okay. Anything in like the early 2000s would be like mid era. But okay. That would be vintage. So let's see what you got all back right. here. So you got some shiny fates. Yep. We got hidden fates celebrations. Oh, I was going to ask you a question too. There is some. There's sealed cases of ETBs. Okay. And I don't know, they told me before that the sealed case is worth more of ETB. What ETBs are they? It's Hidden Fates, uh, Hidden Fates and I think there's a Shiny Fates ETB one too. So, so I don't you, know if you're just going to no, break them yeah, down. Yeah, you're just going to break them down. But okay. basically there's 9 to 10 packs per set and then you have a, a promo. So like the Hidden okay. Fates had a uh, black, it was a legendary bird, so Zapdos, Moltres, yep. Articuno. Yep. That was your promo, that's worth 10 bucks by itself. Okay. Um, so every ETB has that. Yeah, right? There you go. 10 bucks, 10 bucks, yeah. 10 bucks. I love it. So uh, I'm just gonna go through all those, figure out the price points for it all, and then um, see what we got for raw slabs. Okay, yeah, yeah. let's do it. All right, so is this all vintage slabs? Uh, I don't think all of it. I think there is some of that promo stuff you were talking okay. about in it. That's so vintage stuff. Yeah. See, so, that's okay. what you're talking about, isn't it? Uh, that's, that's actually a, a hit out of it. The, the promo is the one that's like a stained glass, so this is different. Okay. This you would actually pull out of a pack. Got it. Uh, that was the, the full art in there. Okay, so now we've got some vintage T-Tar. That's a secret rare from Hidden Fates. I heard that secret rare. Okay, there's some more vintage. It's gonna be kind of mixed up. Yeah, yeah, I just threw everything in here real quick. Oh. So. We're gonna we, we're gonna pretend that. <laughs> yeah, so you got a bunch of vintage and modern stuff. Uh, nothing too too crazy out of these slabs, from at least what I see. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, we got the oh, birthday Pikachu. Oh. Okay. 2001. This was yeah, that was that was big. I know there's some good ones. I, I think there's even a couple. Raw. A lot of Black Star promos. A lot of Black Star. Yeah, promos. I had tons. So for you guys that didn't know this, I want to tell the people how I got all this stuff. In fifth grade at Books a Million in Grapevine Mills Mall here, there was a Pokemon the Wizards of the Coast Club that you would yeah. go play. Wow, okay. Okay. I ran it. I ended up playing and ended up running. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a big but, card. But that bad, bad grade. Terrible grade. Tower, yeah, Great. That's the biggest chase out of Hidden Fates too. So that card in a 10, if it was a PSA 10, is right now is worth around 650 to 750. Big money. Yeah, so anyway, I ended up running it, and they give us access to give all the Black Star promos out to the kids. Yeah. And we kept them. Dude, yeah, that's a lot of Black Star promos. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Fifth grade you should be thanking you now. I know, exactly. <laughs> um, a lot more promos. So we got a lot of vintage stuff. So Fossil, Hollow. I opened a ton of packs back promos. then. Too, okay. So. Like over here, this is when you're going to get more into a lot of the foil hollows from the hit, all the hits that I got. Okay, you got there. Southern Islands. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I think there's a Japanese. Oh, so you have a full Southern Island set. So that these came in the set of like three. So it was um, one hollow and then two common cards. And it was in a, a little like sealed binder thing. And then when you got all of them, uh, it made it like a whole display for them. The Mew in this set, if you get the Mew in a PSA 10, it's worth over $1,000. I don't, I don't know where the, I don't think I, I might have seen If you have it. Is there any good shit in here? There's some good, decent stuff for sure. A lot of vintage, you got Japanese. Yeah, Mr. Revis, Porygon, Porygon 2, Snorlax. Yeah, you got a lot of bangers, a lot of a lot of Japanese bangers. Um, let's see what else got. Just want to look through all the vintage here and give you a better Ooh, idea. Cute. Price point. Yeah, so a lot of Japanese Watsi. You got a Shadowless Bulbasaur. That's, yeah, that's I kept it. the Shadowless stuff. I put the okay. Shadowless stuff in there. There was a, a there was a joke back when uh, in 2020 when Pokemon came back into like the, the big hype of everything during Logan Paul, where there was like a 30k Bulbasaur. So back in 2020, they said the first edition Shadowless Bulbasaur was worth 30 grand because someone shield bidded it to that price point. Oh really? And then now it's just become like a joke it's within a the joke. hobby. Yeah. The Glizzy though. The Glizzy. The Glizzy gang. Okay. No cool. Diddy. Uh, all 
All right, some English. So I got base set here. I want to say at one point I had the full base set. It's seen it? better days for sure. Yeah, I think a lot of this stuff also I didn't end up, or it didn't wasn't great. Like almost that like, great for grading. Okay. Awesome. Cool. All right. Yeah, you got a bunch. Got of, idea. You got a bank. Yeah, you got a bunch of bangers here. So. I separated Chase. some of the boxes behind you too. Oh, you did? Okay, bye bye. And then these two big boxes are Shining Fates, but I don't yeah. think they all are. But they're open. I think they are. I think there's like a bunch of tin There's like mixed stuff in Oh, there is mixed stuff. There's oh, yeah, tins, yeah. too. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of Shining Fates, uh, modern stuff, so. Yeah. This comes with the pin and the two packs, three packs. I yeah. think I bought all this stuff because they were like, Shining Fates is going to be the next hidden Fates. Yeah, so yeah, I went I crazy, and then I don't think it ended up being as big, but. Right. You don't want to show like any of the people that you are like technically what's in here? You know, what's in this one? It's just, it's the same thing. It's more impact, I think. Look, move your hand. Yeah, see, it's just. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone's getting, I don't, it's a lot of shiny face. Yep. And then where's all the hidden face stuff? Is it just the ETBs? Uh, it's yeah. just ETBs. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of shiny face, mainly. All the shiny face in the world, so. We're gonna just be giving away a lot of the stuff, like the, this kind of stuff to the kids. Yeah, and you get a free, you get a free pin with everyone and, and, and a promo and a promo card. So, so what's in this box? Uh, probably more of the same. Yep, just more. Are these pins good? They're okay. It's it's all shining face. It's stuff. basically yeah. you it's just open the them and it's the same packs. It's just different ways for them but to sell there, different packs. But there are ones in there that are worth anything. It's the packs are all the same. It's all the same packs, just yeah. different packs. You're ch you're searching for what Charizard? For shining, shining face? Yeah, yeah. You shining Charizard. Yeah, or these shiny the, um, for days. Yeah, you have the uh, uh, shiny face. Right? It's very shiny over here. It's oh. very shiny. It's very blingy. It looks like it's be worth more than what it is, right? Yep. Um, all right, I'm gonna do some math real quick, and we're gonna get you a price point for everything. Perfect. You don't know what this one is? Uh, that's celebrations. Yeah. What about this little narrow box? Those are the ETBs right there. They're sealed the ETB case. Can we show them at least? Oh, yeah. they're sealed. Yeah, so they're you can't sealed. open it or no? Is that like a thing? Well, where you're not allowed to open the. Sheet, the I think he's gonna end up busting them down anyway. But. So everything that that I'm buying right now, all the modern stuff, everything's gonna get broken down. I'm just gonna sell the packs individually yeah. uh, for streams, so people will just be ripping and shipping those. I think if you tell your streamers though that it's a sealed case of ETBs, there people will cherry pick. Like let's say they open and they hit the Charizard, then they would just leave the rest of the case. Well, so knowing that it's there, it's kind of like big thing with big thing with ETBs too. It's like there's always gonna be a guaranteed hit, like a like an SR, SAR, something that's gonna be a big hit through it. So an ETB you're guaranteed one big hit so generally speaking you want to buy that ETB in those packs to try to get that biggest chase to figure out you know what's the, the biggest, the biggest hit if you're yeah. if you're doing individual packs like loose like that it's hard you, you don't know potentially so gotten that basically big hit. you're telling people it's sealed and then everyone knows so now everyone's gonna buy in because they might be that one that hits that one in the box in the ETB so I'll do, honestly probably just break them down as people purchase them and the quantity and amount then do it for and them. then I'll do it for them because they know what's coming from what it's coming from um, so you shit, even if it's a shitty pack can they say keep it or do they do they always want to? They usually want everything, though. They they? Would, uh, usually they'll take just the hits for modern stuff That's like this. Safe. They'll just take the hits, so it's like the reverse hollow in that hit. Yeah. And then I would ship them that, and then the bowl. What do you do with the bowl? Um, I usually either uh, donate it yeah. to like Children's Hospital, or I have a guy that will buy all my. Oh, like all the scraps so that everyone left behind. That's yeah. So that like Amazon. Like so Amazon has like third party packs where they'll actually go in and they'll use bulk common and uncommon cards and put nice. together them chase packs Ooh, for people to purchase. Cool. So I have a guy that literally that's all he does on Amazon and he just buys all the bulk stuff for me. And there you go. Or he, or he does them, so. That's all the stuff that's, that I have that it's just random. Yeah, boxes, those bulk cards. Yeah. 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 No, really. Cool. All right. All right. Like so. I'm just pricing out a few things. I've already got a general gist on what we have here because I looked at it. Uh, yeah. Let's see, celebrations, hidden fates, shining fates. With the slabs, I'm just going to do a bulk price per, 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 sure. per, per slab. That works. I'm kind of blindly doing this, to be honest with you. All right, so with the price point that I have, that I got uh, added everything up for the vintage, the modern, this is what I'm, we're looking at. We're at 18575 That's for all the singles, the packs, the slabs. Um, what are you thinking about doing a, a coin flip? What do you want to do it for? Mm, you want to do 19.5 or 17.5? Sure. All right, like nice. 2K, 1K yeah, up, yeah, 1K yeah. down? Yeah, yeah, I'm down. All right. You got a quarter? Uh, J-Bar told me that uh, Yo, there's always a quarter. Right? Ain't no way you have that right there. You, okay, so do you want someone else to flip it for us? No, you can, uh, you flip, I'll call. Okay. 
Ready? You ready? Uh, I'm gonna try to be ready. Yeah. Hope, hope we win. Here so we go. If I win, it's gonna be 17-5. If I win, it's 19-5. Bye bye. Okay. Cool. Yep. All right. Here we go. Tails. Heads. Hey. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, I usually don't uh, lose. Really? Flips, no. Okay. I got it. Yes, I got it. All right. So we got the PayPal too. We're ready to go, locked and loaded. Yep, and I'll send you mine and then we'll get it shot up. All right, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bro. I got you. Thanks, guys.